Let's have a look at some of the new features available in Audit 22. New features in this version include additional custom responses on procedures, automation in the risk dialog, and automation in the control dialog. Additional custom responses on procedures. Template authors can now override procedure responses using the date type option. This will appear as a drop-down calendar. Also, to increase efficiency, we've added the option to automatically sign off procedures with the date type or user-defined custom response. Now, when users add this procedure to their file, they can select the date using a drop-down calendar instead of manually entering the date response. And they'll be automatically signed off with their initials and date of completion. We've also automated some existing features in the risk dialog. In the AO General Options document, under the Risks area, template authors now have the option to select Automate the Assessment of Control Risk and Automate the Assessment of Risk of Material Misstatement, or RMM. For example, let's have a look into the audit file for Defta Furniture Incorporated. As the template author, go to the Master Template and select the option Automate the Assessment of Control Risk. Now as the auditor, let's open the file. From the FSA worksheet, we can see a risk for the inventory clerk under the inventories group. Notice we have a medium control risk for assertion E and a low control risk for assertions AV. Double click the reference link to open the risk dialog. You can see the assessment here has been automatically set to low to match the assessment with the lowest level. If you manually change the value, the field will outline in red, and an override tooltip will display. To review all identified risks, open the risk report. Any manual changes to automatic control risks are outlined in red, accompanied by an asterisk, and override tooltip. If template authors select Automate the Assessment of RMM, It'll use the same configuration as the automated assessment of the RMM and audit responses. Based on your defined scoring matrix, if the inherent risk is high and the control risk is low, the RMM field will automatically populate medium. After the RMM is assessed, you can also quickly view the risk assessment in the newly added RMM column in the mini risk report. We've made enhancements to the test control feature located in the controls dialog during roll forward. When you select yes to indicate a control needs to be tested, your indication will now roll forward and automatically update. So in next year's file, instead of manually changing the test control, It'll automatically change to PY1 tested to indicate it was tested in the prior year. Then in the subsequent year, it'll update from PY1 to PY2 tested. We've removed the PY3 option to ensure control testing happens every three years. After PY2, it'll update to blank to indicate retesting is required. It's good to know that when you don't need to test a control, the Control Effectiveness field now automatically updates to not test it. For more information about additional enhancements in our latest version, see our What's New Audit 22 page. Thanks for watching.